Ready? Um, we recording? Oh, we recorded. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Kyle is sneaky with, with the Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. He done nice. He's sneaky. He shout out to nice. shout out. Oh, yo, we recorded Pro Tools. Y'all know that? that? Everybody. We recorded Pro Tools. This podcast yeah, but, is recorded in Pro Tools. Yeah, but but you know where where Kyle is from? You know what doll he comes from? Where doll you come from? What's your doll birth? Ableton? Yeah, yo, he's, yo, that was fire. He's so nasty. You seen that? If you're watching the podcast, he did this. He put an A and put the line through <laughs> like this. He lied. The Ableton gang sign? His doll of birth was FL Studio. You heard him. Oh, you started an FL Studio? And then you jumped over, jumped Did shit. you crack your FL studio? What? I knew you was going <laughs> to... Don't I'll do play. it. Um, <laughs> for next time. Like, no. <laughs> quick question. Okay. Quick question. Never mind. It was about Berger. College is No. Me, what do you... College is real life gave me my, um, my, new, my new Ableton introduction now. He just gave me the, the, the patent. That the is hard. Now. I'm not going to lie. That's my thing now. With that said, yeah. should, I, should, I just, should I just... You going to get beat up for that one. <laughs> that's that one feel like some gang. gang. That feel like now. a lot of gang. Yeah. That's See, FL gang? Of gang shit. Yeah, FL, FL gang. Let me just introduce this podcast since, easy. since you have a new uh, uh, gang symbol for yourself. I'm ready now. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Devon Terrell. Welcome to the My Audio Nerds podcast, the podcast for audio nerds like yourself. I am Devon Terrell. Um, please also make sure you comment like and subscribe to our Spotify as well as our Apple Podcasts. It helps us so much when you rate it. I, we appreciate all the comments and we appreciate the comments in the Apple Podcast. Uh, I've been reading them. As a matter of fact, I told you guys about it. We had some real, a lot of love that was going on in there, and we really appreciate y'all. So, to the left of me, your favorite doll's favorite doll. It's F Leezy. What is he talking about? Your F favorite doll's favorite doll. Yeah, your favorite doll's favorite doll. You might, but you might be. You might be on to something. F Leezy, we in a building. You okay, know, nasty. See? The only one with gross beat. The only one with multi band delay. The only That's one new. With, Hold, relax, yeah, relax only, on that. The only one with morphine. Only one with. Serum. <laughs> look what you name it. <laughs> you name it crazy serum. shit now. The Citrus. Only, you look, serum. Not serum. He's oh, a serum. I was like, what? <laughs> is that an FL studio? Was that an FL studio plugin? Oh my god, I ain't gonna lie. I would get over there for that. All right, to the right of me. Of course, you already know who it is representing the. How'd you do, Kyler? Like this? Yes, yeah, like, like this. That. Yeah, the a representing the Ableton set. The That's Ableton a, Live set. That's a nasty. The fact no, you never call it Ableton set. Live. I hate the live. Did y'all take the? Yeah, live? Yeah, I don't like the live either. I don't like. Y'all took either. it out though already. No, we call, it's called live. Ableton Live. It's called like technically the program call is called live. live. It's called live. Like y'all not even live like that for real. Yo, I ain't Word? hear that slang in years. <laughs> like, yo, it, yo, y'all ain't live. Y'all ain't live. I ain't hear that. Y'all ain't live. live. Y'all ain't live. That's that's old. that's nasty. That's, that's Enjoy crazy. yourself. Well, Enjoy leave. yourself is nasty. LG, did you have a uh, one gotta go for us? I always got a one gotta go for y'all. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> so we 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 gonna do speakers. Oh, yeah. Speakers? Yeah, oh, I like speakers. Okay. okay. Speaker series. Okay. We got three. Mm -hmm. Midfield or what? Near field. Near field. Midfield. Near near fields. Nerds. You see that? Nerds. Says you. Three series. The Adam Audio A series. Okay. Mm. The Rocket series from KRK. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, 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 wait. Stop it. Stop it. Of course. Let it go. 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 That is God level speaker. And then he said, FL Studio producer in the in the crib. Come on. Come on. We're all in the same price range. Let's rock. Let's relax. And what was the Who's in the same price range? Oh, you talking about the? You talking? I know what series you're particularly the referring to. Audio the cheaper A ones. Series. I had yeah. the cheaper, Versus cheaper ones. The KRK Rocket cheaper ones. Okay, so the cheaper ones. ones. So we know his answer. Which one gotta go? Um, and then the Yamaha HS series. Woo! That's good. That that that, that, that is pretty good. So I you know am what? an no, owner. I'm not gonna let y'all get this. No, 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 no. I'm not. KRK first. is staying. You know how many? You know how many people in the hood need? Yo, KRK is like the Draymond Green. It is Draymond. <laughs> Yo, KRKs it's are the, the Cleveland Cat. No, it's the Chicago Bulls of all of us. Cause it had its heyday, right? Kind of fell uh -huh. off, but we some people will swear by. We'll it. Swear, swear by, by it for sure. I will say this. Mm -hmm. Let me give KRK their love. Their mm -hmm. sub still for to this sure. day. Fire. That sub is is subbing. Like I won't Fire. say. I'll, I'll go there. What was you gonna say? Um, and the substitutions on the Chicago Bulls. You're not doing the, the bench. You're no, not doing the math. Um, I will say the Yamaha's got to stay for me. Yeah, yo. Get Yamaha, right there, bro. bro. You, you, you know what? Yamaha's got to stay for me for sure too, because when it comes to, I use the Yamahas to reference because that those the 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 cone is only, if I'm not mistaken, a low and a high, mm -hmm. like or it, there's really no mid range driver, if I'm not mistaken, or that speaker. Lost. Which shout out to Cali, um, they got a mid range and a high in the same in the same yeah. thing. The, mm -hmm. the reason why I like referencing on the Yamaha HS8 is because if there is harshness. Let me tell you, you what speaker is gonna tell you. It's them HS8, like the Yamaha HS series, harsh. Like that, I always, I literally don't mix in my Yamaha HS8. I just go to it to see 
my mistakes. Like, oh, it's harsh. Like, it hurts too much and right. stuff like that. Y'all are correct, and that's why Yamaha won't. Yamaha has my favorite speaker in this whole lineup. Right. But I'm not letting y'all kill KRK. The way That's you laughed weird. when I said I'm not the killing series, him. You laughed no. hard. You never laughed that hard at anything I ever said. Because I thought you was comparing the KRKs to like the 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 big boy Adams, like the Adam Adams. I forgot what's the A7X. I think the X yeah, here that's is like. That's what I'm talking about. No, the KRK eight, the no, Rocket no. eight. You talking about the A7. TV? You talking about the T? It's like the T seven Ds or something right. like that. The T series. Then, yeah, sorry, it's yeah. like three hundred dollars a speaker. Yeah, that's the mm. cheaper ones. The real, the big ones are fifty, like fifteen hundred a pop each speaker. And KRK got dude. something like that, I'm sure. No. Y'all saw the new Behringer KRKs? Stop. Yeah. yeah. Use tens. Bro, we went to a studio that had them big KRKs. It was the most obnoxious speaker. Oh, I was so shout in, out, yeah. I was scared. I'm not going to shout out where we was at or who we was with. Oh, sure, yes. of course. That's Because the woofer is huge. We had the like 10, 10 inch. Yeah, we was in a small room with 10-inch KRKs. Shout out to the guy who did it. Oh, shout shout out out that's why. The room oh was no God. bigger than... Like this space that we're sitting Half in. Half of this room. And it was the speakers. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to press play. And it was hard, though. Like, them records show. was hitting. Guess what? My mixes, they never sound better. Shout out to KRK. Yeah, you shit. Ain't over too much Your distance. mixes never sounded better? You heard what I said. Oh, and I my said it with God. conviction. Well, well you should. Nowhere. I mean, that's your life. That I would love to hear these mixes. I can't wait to hear those. Shout out to KRK. I'm not letting y'all go nowhere. So, uh, KRK is the virtual DJ? It is. It oh. is. <laughs> One thing I will say is, okay, so oh, we can't, so let me just make sure I give love to Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam, I have the T7Vs. I'm not sure if that's the right ones, but basically I'm talking about the cheaper Adams. Yeah. I mix in those because those speakers are very, to me, it's dull sounding. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those speakers, if you want to hear excitement, those speakers are not the speakers to hear excitement from. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to mix in those because they're very dull. And if I can get it to it like... great on that. Exactly. It translates so well. So usually when I go to my A7s, I play it and then I'll listen to my um, HS5s and I'll be like, ooh, oh, I, I'm killing this. Mm -hmm. And I go right back to dull. It kind of... And to be honest, and this is something that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about with speakers, those speakers are very easy on my ears. The Adam mm. A7, I think it's the A7, AT, Bro, T7Bs. I knew I wasn't tripping. What? I had the, the KRKs for, um, I'm KRK gang, come on. Of course. KRK Rocket 5s for so long. Uh-huh. I recently switched to the Kali Audio LP6s. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. And it's been easier. It's been easier on your ears, haven't yeah. it? So you haven't been getting as much ear fatigue, have you? Yes. So that's something that we don't talk about a lot with a lot of speakers and monitors is that sometimes there are certain speakers out there, like I said, that bring out a lot of like that 2K, kind of like an NS10, I guess you could say. You can get ear fatigue from those really yeah. easy. So if I'm sitting, if I'm the type of person that I take minimal breaks when I mix, which I should take more, I know. Mm -hmm. But when I'm mixing on them atoms, I notice that my ear quality of listening is longer. Right. When it comes to those speakers. That's something we don't kind of talk about with speakers, that some of them really cause air fatigue. Like, you got to really find the right monitors for yourself, and that's for it. sure. Adams are great. Um, are those, they leaving for you? Say it again? Are they leaving for you? I have the A7 V TVs. I'm so sorry. I really wish I knew what I was talking about. Um, the cheaper Adams, and I have the HS5s. That is my go-to mix back and but forth you know listen to. You have the KRK sub. I, I have the KRK sub. Wow, I have all three. You know, wow. Dang, dang. Gang bang and drinking <laughs> wine. So when it comes to those speakers, yo, I'm a nasty boy. Look at yeah, my just, monitor setup. Set yeah. That's a nasty. Yeah, set Can I tell you something? And whoever put this in the comments, I will fight you. Somebody said, yo, Devon, come on, bro. You need a better monitor setup than that. And I had to go back and say, excuse me. You think you so you think I'm supposed to have like a pair of barefoots and all these crazy monitors? I was like, that's not how Shout out monitors to barefoots, work. Barefoots, bro. Thanks. I I I will record in a closet with a pair of barefoots. You're a disgusting man. Bare so so what I tell a lot of people about speakers is that the reason why it's I don't always just go gaga over like oh I want really expensive speakers is because mm -hmm. obviously we talk about this all the time where we say it's not, for me personally it's not about how the speakers sound but more or less how they translate. Yeah. So it's like. If I'm listening to something on the NSNs, famous Yamaha speakers, if I can get it to sound good there, which they're not great speakers, right? They're not like this, woo, they, they bump and stuff like that. They're actually a lot of people say they're horrible. Yeah, if I can terrible. get it to sound good there, I can it's it's gonna sound great everywhere. So that's mm -hmm. my philosophy when I that's, buy sure. my speakers. The NS the HS10s are the modern re-emulation. They are. The Absolutely. NS10. And they kind of mimic that mid-rangey kind of like. But I will say that the HS5 series, the HS series is brighter. Like, mm -hmm. they're more excited. Like, 
that speaker ha- will lie to you so fast because the HS5s or the HS series will make you think like, yo, this thing is, it's mm-hmm. so exciting, it's bright, and it tricks you. But I like it because if it's too much, I I know that speaker is going to tell me and bring it out. Sure. If y'all don't have barefoot, <laughs> give it about another year. This time next year, Behringer's going to drop the Bigfoots. Can you leave <laughs> Behringer alone? No. Leave them no. alone. Behringer the Bigfoot, hit. that was funny, though. I just caught what you said. <laughs> I'm not making this a clip. And then <laughs> I will. You know what's funny? Make this if I see the, if this is on a timeline right now and I'm like, I'm not clipping this and it's a clip and my audio nerds just pop up, that's hard. Now it's a clip. It's yeah, definitely no, a clip. It, yeah. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, so as far as uh, what got to go, did you say what got to go? We didn't even, did we wrap yeah, it? The Adams um, are leaving for me because I'm not going to let y'all kill the Rockets. Okay. I'm not killing yeah. Rocket. You laughed hard when I said the Rockets. I did. So I'm not doing it was it. funny. So, and um, Yamaha is my untouchable, to be honest. So, okay. I Yamaha, I started looking at, um, so I was looking for a new bass. It's a quick story time. Okay. I spent a while, um, and there was a bass that I really wanted from a company I never heard of. The uh-huh. reason why I wanted it is because one of my idols used that bass. Shout out to Lakeland. Lakeland. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my yeah, yeah. gosh. There, I forgot the name of the bass, but it's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bass. Okay. And it costed $1,800. And can I tell you something? Uh-huh. In the midst of all my holiday spending, uh-huh. I almost made that purchase. Really? I'm not going to lie to you, brother. Wow. Okay. I, I, I always tell myself before I make any crazy purchase that I really got to think about it. Uh-huh. It's like, yo, sleep on it. Wait till tomorrow. Let the little shoppers high come down or whatever. Right. Um, But I ended up settling on... A Yamaha bass, and oh my gosh, I'm really happy with it. It's not a P bass or a J bass. It's right. kind of PJ configuration as right. the uh, dual humbuckers. It's amazing. Shout out to Yamaha. Y'all sleep on their guitars. Uh, their drums are amazing. Uh-huh. I've been playing their drums since I was young. Yeah, a lot key- of people have. My first keyboard was a Yamaha, a mm-hmm. Casio, and then I got a Yamaha at the church. Right. Um, shout out to Yamaha. Okay. Like, we, y'all don't get enough love. I say... I say let's stay here because we don't really have any conversations about speakers and stuff like that and monitors and stuff. And you recently just bought some new ones, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And then I know you are Mr. Headphone Guy. I know you. And I'm going to talk to you about that. Okay. So when it comes to you and speakers, right, what made you decide to buy the Cali? You bought the Cali Audios? Yes. You really got them. How you like them? Like, how, what love. made you What made you decide to, to go into that? Go first because I was in the session with one of my guys. Shout out to Tone, and it sounded really, really good. Okay. Um, and he also had the because those were his like secondary monitors. He had that, uh-huh. and he had um, hmm. I'm gonna remember the company Focals. Oh, Focal, mm. yeah, Fo- Focal, Focal. Is it Focal? Focal. Focals. Focals. They call Focals. I always said Focal yeah. back yeah, in the day. Yeah, bigger like Focals, and um, those are newer those monitors are too. That's a newer company. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh-huh. those were his primaries, but I really like the Cali Audio Sound. Um, shout out to them, and uh, they're new. I want to try them out. Okay, I'm really into like trying new shit. Yeah, me too. Not, I hear you. I don't like. I'm not an industry standard person. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, was so, that a shot? Was that a, shot? I don't, a little bit? I'm really. I'm not the guy that wants the same interface everyone has and the same. Like I really like. Yo, all y'all make the same music. Man. How many people you know with a Prism Sound Titan? Exactly. That's what made me. I said, "Yo, I'm gonna get a different sound from this." The movie guys were using it. Like that was just a. It was just big in a movie community. I was like, "No one's using it for music." Like everybody had in 2009. Everybody had the MXL 990 comboed with the Digi Design 003. Classic piece and, of and hardware. That's what all of y'all music sounded by Shooter. It sounds no. It's but oh, hold as, on. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hold on. And all of y'all was using Crack Pro Tools. Uh, the M Audio version, not even the, the I- empowered. I- you young as hell because you don't even know what it was called. Pro Tools LE empowered, and then it was HD. That's that was our three. Yeah, yeah. It was empowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so here's my thing: as far as speakers is concerned, yes. right? You got them because you just felt like when you was in the studio that they just sounded fun. Yeah, and I needed an upgrade, bro. I had them K. I didn't have yeah. the new KRKs. I had the old, old one, the KRK fives, like the five, the five G threes. I think they just came out with G four. Well, I might have had the G two. To be honest, I had them for too damn long. Did That's you have the right. wooden ones or the the plastic, like the more plastic ones? I got the wooden ones were, at at my other at my friend crib right now. The I think, wooden. I think they were mm. wooden. I'm not gonna lie. Box. Yes. Oh no, it was it was rounded. Oh, so you had the newer, he had the newer ones. Right. I have the the box. Right. Like, mm-hmm. it, it is a wooden one. I feel one. like they brought that look back, though, because the new ones oh, aren't as round. A more ra- they're more square and stuff yeah. like that. You know, 
You know what the beautiful thing about uh, monitors these days, I will mm. say, Adams, ju- I don't know if these are newer Adams, but in the newer Adams that I've seen, shout out to Eric Smith. What was the guy that does the microphones? That Eric we- Smith is not his What's his name? name? Eric Edwards. Edwards. Eric Edwards. i seen him Edward just- Smith. <laughs> Edward Smith. I'm so sorry, Edward. Shout out to you. I'm a big fan. I watch your uh, videos. He released a video the other day, and he was just basically showing the Adams speakers that he got, some new ones. Yeah. And- he was showing that in the back. Now the a lot of these speakers are starting to have like the room calibration stuff on them. Yes. Uh, similar to um, I think Adam. What's that? that right? What's that company? Who? That um, with oh, the... uh, Sonarworks. Oh, Sonarworks. Sonarworks. So this, but this particular room calibration was interesting because you know how usually on the back of some monitors it just has this thing that says control room. It's mm-hmm. like one button that kind of says, "Oh, I'll just dumb down the low end or boost the high end." Yeah. This one has like a crossover for like each range. Like it was ill, and you could kind of say. You can literally EQ the speaker, like, from the back. Like, and Absolutely. I thought that was really cool for calibration and stuff like that. So you can get a more true response out of your room or basically take the monitors and shape them to your actual yes. room. Yeah. Right. So the Cali Audio LP series, I think, is the budget series. And they also have another series that I do not remember the name of. Mm-hmm. But um, it's not too far off. The LP6 is the six and a half cones. Six and, a half, six and a half inch cones, right? Okay. But they also have... What is this half thing going on? I don't, um, no, it's. It, I think it goes up by 0.5s. So the se- HS7s are actually six and a half. Yeah. Yo, so, you're I'll right. I'll tell you something. You're right. I think it goes you're right. three. That's true. After It's three, 3.5 three mm-hmm. and then five and then 6.5. Right. Uh, eight. Right. And then 10. It just skips. I don't know why. Which I don't know why yeah. they do 10. Oh. 10 is ob- obnoxious to me. <laughs> them KRKs was huge. Right. I couldn't believe they were 10. I didn't know they existed. I, could, I was like, is that a, a problem? And they had the audacity <laughs> to have a sub under. When I tell you that room was ob- ob- no- <laughs> They sounded good, though. I was cool it with was it. It was small. Right. It was like, why these big joints? But shout out. Yeah. It was obnoxious. I, yeah. It was No, I'm talking about the room. It was so small. Yeah, it was, it was a small room. And small. I'm very big on people not having large speakers in small rooms. Because they lie. Because they lie and it'd be too much resonance and you're just getting lied to constantly. Like, that's why I'm not a big fan of like really. I'm, 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 I'm very big on... Buying the right speakers for your for room. Your space, yeah. Yes. So the Cali, and you stopped me because I was about to get some. You about to get some eights for your eights, room. Yeah. I was like, don't do that, bro. Yeah, I was about you're to gonna say, crank it. Everything's now. gonna sound amazing. It's gonna bang. Then what you notice is you're gonna go to a corner and all your bass disappears. And you're like, huh? Like your room is just gonna that resonance. All that stuff is just gonna null each other out and stuff like that. The, so the LP eights, uh, LP sixes. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. The ones that I have, they have on the back. They have kind of not a calibration thing, but it says, all right, if you're it's like eight different settings. Uh-huh. If your room is, if you if your speakers are on the corners uh-huh. of your room, then put it to this setting. If your speakers are in front of you, but there's a wall right behind it, uh-huh. put it this setting. If your wall is farther back, put it this setting. So it basically, the Cali speakers. Yeah, you see these speakers are starting to do that now. Yeah. They're starting to count to the room because they're and starting to really cater to yeah. the bedroom pe- bedroom yep. producers and stuff like that. For sure. Look, the pandemic just passed. It did. Everybody got a mm-hmm. studio. That's true. You know what's also really dope? A lot of people don't know that there's. A few simple techniques that you can do to kind of calibrate your room with speakers. So one thing we used to do back in the day, and even in Full Set, they taught us, we used to let off, have your speakers in the position wherever it's going to be. You let off a one kilohertz uh, sine wave through your speaker. What you do then is you walk around your room, and you'll notice how your sound changes. So sometimes what you'll notice is when you go to corners, you know how they always say corners in your room is the is the enemy because mm-hmm. what it does is the the sounds get ca- get caught over there and they build up in in corners and so sometimes you'll go in a corner and it'll be like oh it's real bass heavy right here so what I do is I will send out the one kilohertz tone I walk around my, my room I head on over to that corner I feel that bass getting all trapped in there bass trap right there bang. Yeah. Then I look up. Where else are y'all putting bass traps but the corner? Well, I'm just saying where to put them, where you feel the most resonance if I walk and stuff into like that. Your crib and you got a bass trap laying flat in the middle of your room. I don't want to record. Anymore. Well, that's I, that's pretty ignorant for someone to just put it like right there in the middle. But but now I'm telling you, it worked, bro. You know what it's like? Oh my! God. It's like people. <laughs> it's like nah. You got to hit it a couple times. It's gonna work. That's nasty. First of all, if you're hitting anything in an audio equipment, that's you just throw it away. Just throw it away. You some people put the bass trap right in the crevice in the front. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Sometimes it'd be yeah. right in the front. Sometimes you feel that resonance, like in certain spots. My biggest thing is when it comes to me acoustically treating my room, and I'm not a acoustic acoustician at all, is I just try to place my uh what are they called? Uh, acoustic panels. Uh-huh. Uh one uh, right across from each other. From each other yeah. So that when you think about a clap, 
it's not bouncing. Think about it. When I clap, it's going bounce, bounce. I the heard sound that is bounce. I you heard, heard that, yeah, yeah, you hear it. So it's bouncing from the wall. So what I try to do is I try to put them right across from each other. So at least I'm limited at, and I try to keep going down the line and doing it. Mm -hmm. Then your ceiling is the biggest enemy. Like that's always the biggest enemy for me is just the ceiling and stuff like that. That's why we have a. Uh, this cotton that's kind of serving as decorations, but also as a sound absorber for the top. Why do you snatch? This, these are cl actual clouds we got from the heavens. It's cotton from the cotton lands of cotton. Appreciated. Of, of sheep. Um, <laughs> my room is so bad. What do you as mean? As far as acoustically, well, I have like yeah, you don't room, you don't have any treatment in your room, do you? I have a bed. Maybe that could work. A little couch. <laughs> you still have a what bed. do you got to do with the bed? The only acoustic. With this fabric. It's fabric. It, it absorbs sound. It absorbs sound. You didn't no, know I, no, no, I, no. Hold on. He said, he said don't. You tell me on, sound bro. is bou bouncing off my, my, my mattress? What about the remaining walls? I understand that. That's really say, what we care about. Man, the, walls, the only the acoustic <laughs> treatment I've done to my damn studio is my acoustic guitar and acoustic uh, VSTs that I own. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said I bought the gear. Son said the only acoustic treatment I've done in my room is my acoustic <laughs> plugins. <laughs> and the treatment. So you got the RX 10 series on your joint. So so let me ask you a question. You don't have any um acoustic. I guess we're at acoustic treatment. I just you got some. Um, shout out to all the sales that happened during the holidays. Yeah. Because I got a bunch. Shout out to Amazon for messing my order up with my bass traps. Because oh, they ended up giving that. me itch cream, fake earrings, and um bath and body works lotion. Instead of a base trap? You got Instead a mistake in Amazon package, yes. and that's what they gave you? Instead that's of your so base traps, yes. you got itch cream. I got base traps so and some foam. No. Oh, how about, about, how about this? Had your Addy? I had my Addy. Oh, Amazon walling yeah, with the mistake that, that day. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, but bless your heart. Yeah, they, they gave me my refund. Shout out to them. And um, they on the way. Okay, well, I'm happy for you. I, they got a, They gave it back to me in, on Black Friday pricing, so shout out to them. That's so. nice. I want you to get something for your walls. I do want you to get some some absorption for your walls. Like, I feel like that was a pause, but I'm just... I want you... <laughs> <laughs> wow. I want you to get some absorption for your walls. It's insane. Yo, grow up, bro. No, Come on, bro. No. Look what you made me feel like I said flavor. wrong. I want you to get some um, treatment, treatment yeah, for, <laughs> for your mom. <laughs> some foam. I understand. You said it. <laughs> I want you to get some stuff for your room. Yes. The base traps is a good start because you mm. got those Callies now. So I say I just want you to get some stuff for your um for your actual walls and stuff yeah, like no, that. You'll got, notice got, a difference. I already have some, and I, like one of my walls is completely. I got the little hexagon looking ones that like look good too right so, yeah. okay shout out, to, shout out to all the people whose mask and tape on their panels is falling off fix your wall please. that's a fact and don't I use, hate that don't like, use the spray i don't like to use the adhesive don't spray. Use the spray either yeah that double-sided uh strong heavy duty tape command tape that may fuck your walls up when you take it off that's a fact what, you got to make that commitment but Welcome. hey you leave in that apartment i'm gonna assume <laughs> yeah. when you do that yeah, or you quit right. music and if you quit music you deserve to restart your life courtney I'm let crying. me let me ask you a question you yes, sir you mix in headphones a lot do you oh, mix in the time. Uh, Steven Slate headphones or you mix in some Behringer uh, C C twelves? I mean, is that really the name of the, the Behringer headphones? I used to use Behringer headphones when I used to. So here's how I got. I'm my pretty start. sure them headphones are Can just I say fine. How I got my start? Well, Quick I, story time. Oh my I'm not, God. It's not going to be a story, but I got my start. Um, I used to record in Audacity and produce an FL studio at my library before I owned a computer, and they used to have Behringer headphones. Your biopic is going to be hilarious. It's going to be so funny. Seeing a little boy, a little Haitian boy walk into a, in library, a library and he's playing FL Studio is going to be the... And then a, a, the, the, the I can see the security beats? guard like, where's your library card? You and them? you're like, oh no. And then you you leave, you leave the beat that Kanye was acting for and you run out and you're like, no, I got to go back and get the beat. My, and you sneak few, back in the library. I went back to the library and shout out to them. They wanted to do something real nice for me. Shout out to them. Who? The library. the library, I'm assuming. We'll talk about that. They probably sold them beats. They probably low key nah, they did something. He said, "Yo, the library. there's a studio in the library. They opened Don't tell me there's a stu recording studios in libraries. It's a podcast uh, studio and recording studio. Yes, they got recording studios in libraries. Mm -hmm. In the library, you got a recording studio. Yeah. What the? F what's happening? You don't remember those? Um, you don't remember those spaces in the full set library that um had the 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 open drawer doors? A lot of people, at least from when I was there, they turned those into like little shoot spaces or like you know you could record podcasts or like little. Yeah, they things. spoke to me. They said, "Hey, you kind of like inspired this," but they got <laughs> you kind of like inspired this for the entire studio. Uh huh. And um, yeah, you can record. They have monthly, uh, I guess subscription kind of vibe. No, it's free. It's a library. Come on. But it's monthly, <laughs> Come like, on. monthly classes, I guess. Okay. You can learn how to record your podcasts and 
But I think they use like Audacity for the podcast. Yeah, they're like, using free stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure they use no, a budget I think stuff. They use audition. Which okay. is Adobe, thing. Adobe Audition? Even though we're recording into Pro Tools. Yes. We're technically mixing an audition. Cap. If you're record if you're editing the video in, in Premiere Pro, Big Premiere Cap. Pro is audition. Okay, big cap, and I can't. I hope people Premier are smoking you in the comments. Premiere Pro is I, a video no, program. That was a joke. I understand that. Yes. Oh well, no, I'm, I'm not going to let you get that off. That's he what I'm said saying. That I'm not going to let you flagrant. get that off. Yo, I'm gonna start talking back in them comments. Um, I want you to. I'm gonna start talking back. In they be comments. they be coming for you. I ain't gonna, gonna lie to you. They're gonna smoke you. Uh, but yeah, I was asking you before about your you were mixing in headphones a lot because you mix in headphones a lot. You're damn right. What what so. so as far as if you could get a pair of monitors, you've I bet you've been to a lot of studios and stuff like for that. Sure. What pair of monitors would you actually go for if you could get a pair of monitors? I'd show with the Yamahas that we have. The here. HS. I knew you was gonna um, say that. However, uh, shout out, shout out. I I, I could use names now because we because we're past the stories that we started with <laughs> from um day one. Um, going to um, what are you talking about? I forgot what the uh, underground or above ground studios. Shout out above oh, slash underground. Okay, but going to um Kaylani's uh one of her home studios in LA. Uh huh. Um, I'm a big fan of her setup. What and what's her speak? What's her the, speakers? Um, I think it's I think it's the KRKs. I'm I'm actually not gonna lie. I think she uses KRKs. I For think real? Brother, did in you those, say one of her home studios. She not does. She does an exclusive. One of her home. Like, yeah, like one like, of her studios like she goes, the, to, she goes at home. to. What are you, you know? confused about? Oh, you I, thought I meant like, like her rich. crib. You got you got multiple home studios in LA. I'm about to say for him to I'm not get gonna say, me at Kelani's home home studio is crazy. I'll be yeah, like, yo, dad, I appreciate you. Like, I'm no, like, whoa. You know what he means. I appreciate you. You know what he means, right? No, but he said one of her home studios. Shout out studios. to Kelani, like, though. Damn, she just for out sure. here with home studio. No, you're a silly boy. She might, though. She, she, she might, though. She, like, I have, a, I have a home studio at in LA. I'm not going to say where because I don't want none of y'all to know, oh, know which one. Oh, home studio. Yeah, I, you like, I'm really thinking home You know, you know, no, not like that. You know what we're talking about. But um, no, yeah, I knew, did it. You could have said one of her go to studios. Go to, okay, sure. Yeah. Better, better terminology. Oh, my fault, OG. Yeah. <laughs> I guess my fault, OG. But, is um, crazy. Yo, don't she has like KRKs. She has KRKs in there. Okay, I'm not, I'm, like I said, and I don't. And it's fire. It's, I don't it's, knock it's on good, it. It's a good, um, it's a good Set system. Um, plus, me they mix Justin Bieber vocals in a KRK. Yo, there's, I'm telling you, bro, bro if that, let me say something. All right, let me say this. If that is your poison, if you know those speakers that well, then I'm sure they, you can you can create very saying, great they know mixes. Because it it's, it's the setup. Because they know what they're doing. Down to proving what you said. I think it was this episode or the last episode you said it. Uh-huh. The Apollo uh, stuff. Was all the, in there. The manly mic into the Apollo setup, into the warm audio interface. I was like, wow, they got a really hybrid. incredible. Kind you know, of when warm audio love starts it. putting out interfaces and like speak, like. Once they leave the preamp, well, they're not going to leave the preamp or no, then, world. Yeah. I think once they start emulating other shit. Here's my thing. When it comes to converters, my brother, it's a different ball game. They figure Conversion out technology Conversion is, is, yeah. is a different game, bro. But when we talk about clocking and jitter, bro. Like, that's why there are $10,000. Because think about it. If we think about it, the most expensive piece of audio equipment is microphones and probably con in, uh, converters. Yeah. Probably converters, because yeah. I don't, I can't name a preamp that's, which I'm pretty sure like a Fairchild compressor is probably ten grand. But I'm, but I'm talking about just like something that is not rare, but that you can go buy, bro. In the, nah, the, converters the, are t a Lavery. I think a Lavery is like uh ten grand for a Lavery. No, because the B two A costs like eight hundred. The Burrow? No, the B two A. Um, the Behringer two A. And this has been another episode of the My Audio Nerds podcast. Indeed. I took him serious for two point <laughs> five seconds. I said the B two A. I we said the I disrespected Burrow we go, Audio. We're gonna catch you. We're gonna catch you with the um, which is song on that clip. I want you to take me. We're <laughs> gonna catch you. <laughs> you know, like, like, That'd be like, hard to throw that underneath. This whole episode get demonetized. But <laughs> so okay, I'm rapping because you're uh, you're a savage. Um, so as far as the wrap up, as far as speakers and stuff like that, yeah. I think. There's a few important things to realize when it comes to speakers. One is your room. Buy the right speakers for your room. That's yep. extremely important. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, it being from five, six, seven, and eight. If you have a bigger room, then sure, go for the go eight. For if you have a smaller speakers. room, go for the low. Smaller I say go for a smaller one because you're gonna get. So, it's gonna be so much stuff accurate. that's gonna be in that room. So much more accurate. And what right, was, if, if that's first, the case. Uh, monitors. Those Rocket KRK fives. That was your first? I bought it from eBay my for $200, first, a pair. My first was, um, <laughs> I got the the pair for 99 What? 
Uh, Mackie CR threes. Shout mm. out to them. You had those too. That's yeah. fire. Damn. Yeah. I bought the black and green joints. They were fire. And then I ended up going to the KRK Rocket Fives. Um, Yo, the then, Rocket is a classic speaker, bro. I had. I'm not um, gonna lie. What was the? It's an old, old, old brand. It Ooh. might be Focal, but like you had those old, old. One of their old joints, though. You know what speaker company I was thinking about? Mm. Event. You remember no, Event? Event. That's what I have. You remember Event? Yes, Focal? Event Audio. Damn. They, I, I don't know if they're still around. I, they remind me of each other because that's kind that's of. what I have. Them, so right now- I got them confused. I, I got them old Event Audio um, joints in my room for my DJ setup. Okay. Because I don't care about those speakers. Well, those speakers, speak, I, I, I would love to kind of see and follow up and see, but I don't know if they're still they're around, so but they might not be out. Old, it's so old. Yeah. But, um, event. I used to mix on those. Then I, went, I just stayed with the KRKs and then now I'm at the Cali's. Right. And I think if my next one- Probably be if I had to switch, uh-huh. even though I just got these, would be Yamaha uh-huh. or Barefoot. Shout out to Barefoot. I'm due for a pair of new uh, speakers uh, t- to Are add you due? Uh, to add to my you setup. Ca- you just got these add-ons, huh? right? Hmm. The Neumann okay. speakers. Oh my, oh my god. god! So Drew just said, get the Neumanns. Let me tell you about the Neumanns right quick. Those speakers are perfect. <laughs> They're perfect. I, I, I we heard afraid, them at, I was afraid at, at Bob Clear Mountain Studio, and I'm Shout not gonna lie, to that those, was the they sounded perfect. Those were the Neumanns. They were the top end calm. Neumann is bottom end banging the, clean. Yeah, I, like, I was just say, like for sure. But I agree with you. I agree with you. Clear, I agree with you. Leaving clear separation. But here's my issue though. In the back of my mind, What's I'm up? like, how am I how am I gonna mix on those right there? I that's why mm. I said I need to keep my speakers still and just add to it. And just see if as reference, yes, because that's my most important. We got thing. time for one little question. I I can't. We got to wrap up. They gonna kill you for how old, uh, how quick this episode is. But it was thirty. I think yeah, Neumann might be the greatest audio um, hardware company. company. Hardware company. I, I, them, I, I, I low key them and Roland. Them. them and Roland. I don't know. You can't beat. I don't think you Neumann can say that. And Roland. No, or you can't Apple. say that. Well, Apple's I at least say they top three. You can't. You can't say Neumann is the best hard, uh, hardware company because they don't make interfaces. Ooh, annoying pre- name a name, annoying preamp. Like no, but you still can't like the damn, the shit that they do provide. That so fire, it. They the kill. Way, you, we can we can say tough. that about uh, Spectrasonics, but all they make is sense and like. Here's my thing. I think mm. a lot of they us, don't make drums. They don't make. You know what I mean? They make a lot of microphones, right? That's Neumann. And Let's, now and you're selling the speakers, and now you're saying that's new. That's a they have another... that's a brand new market that they just kind of got not just got into, but that's a newer market for them. As far as the microphones, they have vocal mics on lock. Mm-hmm. Some, some of the microphones that they have for drums, mm-hmm. some of them are classic. A lot of people use like the TLM yeah. 103s for overheads. Yeah, I don't think they're. I don't think we and can have the conversation because that's true. But I'm looking for a company that has Overall. it all. Overall. But they killed the mics. They no, for ain't sure. nobody as messing far with the them. hardware that they do provide. I gotta give it to. And I, yeah, my two is always gonna be for now until you know I'm, I gotta grow up. But Neumann <laughs> and Roland, as far as hardware goes, that's I don't. I'm fields, not agreeing with you. Oh my hmm. gosh, I don't agree. We with can you. do that in another episode. We'll do it yeah. another day. Okay. If I had to pick one company to be like get all of their stuff, UAD too. It's they don't got no speakers. Yeah, they don't got speakers. Look at that. We'll figure that out. That's actually a good conversation all for another day. But we're stopping best all around company. Uh, we're gonna stop right there. That was an episode of my audio nerds. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Apple Pod- Podcast and Spotify Podcast. Please also make sure that you actually rate us. That helps us so much. Um, why is that going off? Okay, interesting. I got to feed my dog. Um, <laughs> please make sure that you follow us on all of those things and also make sure that you're tuning in every single Wednesday uh, listening for this content. And we really appreciate you guys. Please keep commenting. Please keep supporting. And uh, can't wait for you guys to get the Rosetta EQ coming uh, sure. in January. It's going to be amazing. Um, it might be out by the time y'all get this episode. Too. Maybe. It might. Maybe. And, um, We're thinking about January right now. HMD Mix Competition is on the way. HMD Mix Competition is coming yeah, soon. Right. And soon. Oh, we got some plans. Yeah, yeah, I got okay, it. I got it. we're out of here. This has been the My Audio Nurse Podcast. Appreciate you guys. We're out of here. I want to do a sound. Shout out, Behringer.